in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own t-shirt designs using Photoshop. Now, first things first, before you start designing, you need to know how big the printed area is on the t-shirt. That way you can calculate how big your design needs to be, the width and the height. And this varies according to the printing platform that you're using, whether you're using Spring or Bonfire or any other online printer for your t-shirt. Now, if you're using a website to print your t-shirt, it will look something like this. And obviously, if you're walking into a physical print shop, they'll just tell you the size that your design needs to be now with all this in mind you can hop on over into photoshop and start creating your design so here we are in photoshop i already created an 8 by 12 canvas here to start designing and before we go any further this video is sponsored by envato and we'll talk a little bit more about them later on remember that your t-shirt design can be anything you want any concept you think of any way you want to express your creativity on a t-shirt it's all up to you. This is just an example, right? Everything I want on my t-shirt should fit in this canvas, right? So let me just go ahead and randomly write some text. Let's just write summer is a um, state of my, like just the most random thing possible. It doesn't even have to be this color. Let me just increase the size, right? And let me just use my move tool to align it to the middle of my canvas like so let me decrease the line spacing so that whatever i have within this box remember that's what's going to be printed on my t-shirt so i have to make sure it fits and if i wanted to go ahead and slap an image on here let me just find the image i have on my computer here's my image i'm just going to drag it in and then I'm going to place it like so. And I want to put it behind the font, behind the text, sorry. And I also want to increase the size, Control T, Command T. And just for the purposes of this tutorial, let me just like so, right? And let me bring the words down, the text down, right? And then let me hit my photo layer. Let me go to my camera options. You can go to filter and then camera raw filter. And I just wanted to select the background and just make the background completely white. You don't have to do this. I'm just being overly dramatic with this tutorial. Let me go ahead and choose the mask. Let me choose background and Photoshop is going to detect the background in the image for me. And then with the background selected, this red area here, I'm just going to bump up the shadows so it's all like completely white shadows highlights a little bit of exposure so it's whiter than it was before right let's bump the whites as well right and then let me just click okay because that's perfect right so that's perfect the background is completely white this is the before this is the after and now i'm going to add a mask on the image by coming down here adding a mask hit g for my gradient tool and i'm just going to like drag a gradient so she like fades out right like so and now that i have that's looking pretty good i just want to change the color of the summer um uh, maybe i can just um, pick a color here from the model right like that's it that's it this is the design i want this is the design i can't even talk this is this is this is the design I want to slap on the t-shirt. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Control and S to save and then and let's just name it something like t-shirt design tutorial. All right, that S, that H is off. Let's just click save. So I save that as my Photoshop file, which I can come back in and make changes if I want. Then let me just go ahead and save it as a JPEG or PNG Whatever your printer requires, that's the file format that you should save it in, right? Let me just go ahead and hit save a copy. Wait, no, sorry. Save a copy, Control, Alt, and S. And let's just save it as a JPEG, right? For the purposes of this tutorial, let's go ahead and click save. And one best practice to note here when designing a t-shirt, it's pretty key that you design your t-shirts or create your t-shirt designs with 
transparent background. So for example, this image that I have here that we used earlier, if I were to just remove this background, it would be perfect for the printer. And your printer will most likely tell you that because if you don't remove the background, you will get a white box around your image, unless that's the look you're going for. That's also cool, right? Now, remember earlier I said this video is sponsored by Envato. I got this awesome t-shirt mock-up from Envato that I'm going to slap my design onto that way you can see how it would actually look if you were to print this design. So let me go ahead and just open my mock-up. All right, here's my t-shirt mock-up. In the mock-up, you get a cool Photoshop file that all you have to do is just open a smart object layer, which is the white t-shirt that we have here over in our layer stack. That's the one that we want to use. And all I have to do is double click on it here. And then it says, place your design here. Obviously, you can just turn this off and then drag your design in. Here's my design. Let me just go ahead and drag it in. And obviously, we didn't make this specifically to fit this mock-up. We're just showing an example, right? So let me go ahead and just enlarge this, right? And like about there. And then let's press enter to place it. And then I'm just going to create like a white background behind it to fill this area. Let's come down here and then create a solid color. Let's choose white and drag it underneath that. Perfect. Now, to see what your design will look like on the mock-up, you have to save your smart object because remember, we opened this smart object here, placed our design inside of it. Now we have to save it for the changes to be reflected, right? Control S to save, Command S if you're on Mac. And then if you come back to your t-shirt design, now you can see that your design is here and you can just adjust it if you so desire so obviously this is way too big that's not what we want right so i am just going to find my design let me just hide this layer Control and t for my transform options let me just drag it down and let me see what it looked like now that i've turned off the background the white background Control s to save let me come back to my how cool is that right that's pretty cool if you ask me let me drag it down because i don't want it to be this close to right here so let me drag it down and then let me size it up some more that is pretty cool Control and s to save and now when you come back here you can see your summer is a state of mind is ready to go. This t-shirt mock-up is so cool. It even has a black t-shirt option. If you were to come here and turn this one on, all you have to do is come here, double click in the smart object with the white text, because obviously black shirt, white text, white shirt, black text. And that's how you would see what your design would look like. And that's all I have to do with that's how you design your own t-shirt. And hey, this video would not have been possible without this awesome mock-up that we got from Envato. And if you're looking for mock-up to showcase your design, whether it's a logo that you want to put on a business card, a design like we just did that you want to put on a t-shirt to showcase potential clients, Envato is the place for you. I use them every single day in my tutorials as you just saw here. This photo that we're using in this t-shirt is also from Envato. So that's a cool stock photo and a t-shirt mock-up you can get all in one place. And guess what? Envato has unlimited downloads. So you can download the photo and the mock-up and much more. Click right at that first link in this video's description to check out Envato and thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.